Hi, this video is to explain to you how to set up your SSL enabled email. Uh, the reason that you might want to set up the SSL enabled email is because a lot of the larger ISPs are starting to cut off the port 25 and port 26 access that you need in order to send email through our servers. Fortunately though, most of them are keeping the port 465 access open. Uh, which is the port that SSL encryption uses when you send email. So as a little bit of a workaround to get around the ISPs, uh, you can set up your email as port 465 or just simply because you want encrypted email, which isn't a bad thing either. So let me show you how to set this up in Windows Mail. I'm going to go ahead and open up my Windows Mail. if I can find it there it is okay so the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the tools menu click on it scroll down to accounts click on that and then I'm going to add an account click this add button over on the right hand side a box pops up asking me what type of account I want to add an email account and this may vary depending on what type of email client that you're using I'm using Windows Mail right now uh, my display name I'm just gonna type in Larry Dozier and hit next. My email address for my email address I'm going to put Larry at secure-cert.com which is my email address. Now this is where this differs from what we've been doing before. When you set up your email just straight email port 25 you most likely had your domain name going there but now you're not going to have your domain name going there because you have to have the same domain that's on the server uh, instant SSL security certificate and so the way that you're going to find what to put here because it depends on what server you're on open up Internet Explorer and type in A1 web server dot com slash lookup hit enter and again that's a1 web server dot com slash lookup it's going to ask for a domain name put the domain name on that uh that you're getting email from. So let's say that you're getting joe at browns.com as your email address. Put in browns.com. My particular email address here is secure-cert.com. Now that's my domain name. You need to put your domain name in here. If it's browns.net, put in browns.net. If it's mylittledomain.com, put in mylittledomain.com. Whatever you have, you put in here. Hit submit. If your domain is on our servers, you should see this little line come up right here, which says mail server and a colon and everything past that colon is the name of the server that your site is hosted on and so what you'll do is in my particular case my server is lin2.a1webserver.com and so in in my particular case that's the server name I copy that now don't copy this mail server colon part just copy everything that comes after it then I'm going to go ahead and minimize here. And so for my incoming mail server, I put whatever it is that I just copied. And then I do the very same thing for my outgoing email server. And 
in Windows Mail it says outgoing server requires authentication when you set up which is kind of convenient you don't have to go back in uh, in Outlook Express you're gonna have to go back in on properties on Outlook you have to go back in after you have set up the email account go back in to that accounts properties and you'll you'll see this but at any rate you're gonna have to check that button that says outgoing server requires authentication and then go to next and the email username for me that's Larry at secure-cert.com now your email username is going to be the very same thing as your email address and I'm gonna put my password here you don't get to know it because it's my password and when you set up your password please don't tell it to other people hit next and I'm gonna put do not download my email at this time what has happened is my my email client set up everything pretty much with the default ports and I need to go in there and change that and so I'll go ahead and click on it and then I hit properties now I see this has what I want include this account when receiving mail or synchronizing and if I go over here to servers it has the server that I got off of the a1 web server dot com slash lookup page it's got my email username and my password and if your mail server doesn't have if your email client doesn't automatically set this up you want to make sure this is checked my server requires authentication and where it says settings you can use the same settings as your incoming mail server so then you go on over to let's skip over to the advanced tab because this is really where all the action is I want to check both of these boxes that say this server requires a secure connection okay you'll notice on the bottom one it changed it from 110 to 995 we want to keep that 195 on the top one the outgoing mail I want you to change this 25 to four six five and then down here where it says leave a copy of messages on the server that's generally not a good idea to have that checked because what happens is your your email account ends up filling up with messages and once your email account is filled up with messages uh, it, it, you just don't get any more messages and so it's best when you when you check your email to delete all the messages off the server when you check it and that's why you leave this unchecked by leaving this not checked it'll automatically delete your messages off of the server so now we've got this set up the way we want it our outgoing mail port is 465 our incoming mail port is 995 both of these say this server requires a secure connection and we've got those both checked and I hit apply and then OK and then close now that allows me to go ahead and send and receive on that if you uh, if you hit send and receive and you get an error message that means that either your you set the settings wrong you don't have the correct server or your uh, password might be wrong okay this is how you uh, set up encrypted email I hope you enjoyed this lesson